Hey, what is going on YouTubers? It is me Wolfie and today I'm gonna show you how to apply cinematic color grading effects in Photoshop. And trust me, it is pretty easy. So these are the bunch of options that we are gonna use. And let me tell you that there's no common setting to get good contrast images. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. You have to play around with the settings yourself and find out which one looks best. Okay, so the first one is brightness and contrast. And I don't think I need to explain that. I usually decrease the brightness a bit and increase the contrast. The next is level. So we have three arrows here. This one's for white color, this one's for black and this one's for neutral. You can move them to increase or decrease their level in the picture. After that we have curves which is a lot similar to levels. You can drag this line up to increase the level of white color or down to increase the level of black color. After that we have color balance and this is the only setting which is almost common for all pictures. So just drag the first arrow towards cyan. The second arrow a bit towards green and the third one towards blue. You can also select different tones to change their color balance. After that we have selective color. In this you can select a specific color and change its color balance. So just select all the colors in your picture one by one and find out which setting looks the best. After that just simply apply the effects or merge the layers and go to filter and camera raw filter. Ok so this is quite similar to color balance. Here I usually decrease the temperature and tint. After that increase or decrease exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and black until you get the best results. You also have a bunch of more settings here but I do not use them. And yeah sometimes depending on the picture you can use this tool to select the area where the effects will be applied. Say that it feels right. 